One of the biggest contributions of Hinduism is making human beings understand from the beginning there is enough anti-matter in you, equal to the matter in you. So give equal importance to the anti-matter, just as the matter. Hinduism's leaders, our ignorance about the violence of the human beings was not cute. Our principles were not extremely brutal. The lifestyle itself was extremely life positive. So even in the war, we were principled warriors. We didn't know the attackers didn't have any principles. They were brutal. We may have lost the territories, but we have something great to contribute to the world in the field of consciousness. At least to an equivalent amount, we need to cognize the anti-matter component of life. The unmanifest, avyakta, continues to be the driving force of the matter, the manifest, vyakta. Unmanifest remains as the driving force of the manifest. Like a diabetic avoids sugar, to the same level, we need to avoid stress. In every level, we cannot be completely life negative in our thinking, filled with fear, and expect grand successes to follow us. Fear needs to be used sparingly only where required, and not more than that. Know the realistic threats, unrealistic lies, and never be cheated. Ignorance is not cute. The spiritual, social, religious, political legitimacy needs to be restored to Hinduism. At least one place where Vedas, Agamas, Manusmriti is practiced authentically as the constitution and the law of the land. For the overmattered materialistic civilizations, we have something great to contribute. The whole humanity is suffering in the extreme materialistic conditions. The only solution to the materialistic sufferings is the pure principles of antimatter. Sanatana Hindu Dharma does not allow you to tip the balance, to fall into the over-exploitative nature of the materialistic civilization. The balanced life and superconscious breakthrough is the real message of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Hinduism has solutions to all the problems modern civilizations are facing not recognizing the importance of the antimatter, which is the driving force of life. Your higher cognitions are too important for your life, how you feel, how you cognize your whole day. Your higher cognitions matter for the balanced life between matter and antimatter. Just like how you eat, exercise to maintain your matter, you need to balance with the driving force of life, the antimatter. If you raise the status of the matter, you will not be successful in raising the state of the antimatter. But if you raise the state of the antimatter, you will be successful in raising the status of the matter. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful. <laughs>